Good eve, good art, good morning, guys and girls. Uh, it's Full Metal Monkey here, and today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Um, apologies if the zoom keeps on going crazy. My uh, DSLR uh, lens is not very good at uh, focusing on camera mode. But um, today is the launch day of the new Diablo 3 expansion pack, Reaper of Souls. Um, if, I don't know if you guys know my history with uh, Diablo, but um, Diablo 2, I played for what, probably seven years or so, uh, and was one of the first people in Europe, at least, to get the Trang All set, which was a uh, uh, set armor piece for the Necromancer, which was released in patch either 1.09 or 1.10. Uh, and it basically turned your Necromancer into a vampire, and like, it actually changed what he physically looked like. Um, and you also had unlimited stamina. So I was very, very, very disappointed when Diablo 3 launched. However, since the big 2.0 patch, I've uh, been playing it almost pretty much non-stop, other than Guild Wars. So yeah, this is the Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls Collector's Edition. Uh, and I should probably block that out, because that's got my address on it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use my ZZ Top keychain which uh, I got from when I went to see them last year uh, to undo all of this and I apologize for the shoddy camera work I am just holding my DSLR with my hand uh, I'm left-handed so I'm holding it with my right hand which is kind of handy because your right hand is what you know where the grip is anyway here we go and it's back to front Oh, oh, there we are. Let me just get this box out of the way. And there we have it. Reaper of Souls. Looks quite nice. It's, uh, the box is kind of similar in design to my uh, Starcraft 2 Heart of the Swarm Collector's Edition. Uh, and this is all that comes with it. Just let it focus, please. No, wrong way. Focus. That's it, oh, nearly. There we go. So I get a box. Oh, come on, you git. No. Zoom that out a little bit. There we go. Behind the scenes, DVD and Blu ray to this set. And you've unfocused. Uh, anyway, you get the, the Reaper of Souls soundtrack. You obviously get Diablo 3. Uh, Reaper of Souls game. Uh, you get some exclusive in-game content. You get the Diablo 3 Spectral Hounds minion and aesthetic artifact, which sounds very cool. Uh, charge through the san charge through sanctuary with your Spectral Hound minion at your side. And transmogrify your gear with a trio of Aegis helms and com and a full complement of. Malthiel inspired weapons. That sounds quite cool. I didn't actually know that these come with the collectors, and I thought it was just the uh, the wings. But then I heard the wings were pre-order anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. Um, if you have got the collector's edition coming, um, or any physical edition coming, which uh, you've obviously pre-ordered, if you activate it before, I think it was April first, you get the uh, Imperious Wings, which is the uh, the leader of well, not leader, but he's the main. Angel, the one that tries to stop you from going solo to fight Diablo at the end of uh, the game. Come on, focus. Anyway, that also says World of Warcraft Treasure Goblin Pair, which sounds quite cool. I don't play World of Warcraft anymore. Uh, last time I played it was Catalyst, and I uh, didn't play it that much. And you also get StarCraft 2 uh, Crusader Portraits and Malthiel Decals. Uh, and then you also get the art book as well. So. Focus. Right, anyway, screw that. Who wants to see what's in it on some little bit of paper? I mean, what we can do is just actually see what's in it. Uh, and this is very hard to open with one hand, I must admit. I'm not a pro unboxer like some of the other YouTubes. YouTubes! Right, there we go. There we have it. Now, 
Oh. So that's just that. We'll get rid of that. Don't need that. And move my keys out of the way. So here we have it. Repo soles. And I've already kind of pulled it apart by mistake. So that rises up. And let me lean that against my pillow. So that lifts up like that, which I didn't think it was. I thought it was going to be the opposite way around. And we're greeted with Mouthiel, a very nice art book. Oh, oh no, that's not even an art book. That is just a box. I thought that was the art book. So here we have it. It's not packed out quite as nicely as the StarCraft 2 one was, I have to admit. Um, StarCraft 2 one was very deliberate. It was very, you know, nothing moved in the uh, in, in the uh, Heart of Swarm. Not Heart of Swarm, the uh, uh, whatever the expansion was. Yeah, Heart of Swarm uh, expansion was. So let's, uh, let's take the art book out. I'll have a flick through that in a bit. So again, that's Mouth Yell. And on the back, it's uh, who's that? Is that Diablo? I think that's meant to be Diablo. I want to clean on what Diablo looked like. That's the uh, Reaper Soul mouse mat. And over there, next to my phone, on top of my mouse, well, below my mouse, is uh, that's my toothpaste. My oh, the swarm one. I've been using recently. Uh, excuse the state of my room. It's a bit of a mess at the moment. I've uh, just been moving it around. Uh, so there we have the behind the scenes of Reaper Souls and oh look, it's a Crusader portrait. Focus. Uh, we have the game. I'm not going to open it up because that probably contains a code and the collector edition soundtrack which has Reaper Souls, Crusader, Guys of Man, West March, Sator, Gordalith, Gordaloth, and Corderoth, uh, Gideon's Row, Inarius, Chains of Fate, Blood for Blood, Battle Grounds of Eternity, Abattoir, The Paths of the Drowned, uh, Saiyan Evers, Saiyan Avis, Urziel, Ancient Ruins of. Uh, Dolmore, Full Circle, Wrath of, Wrath of Angels, Runes, Skatsimi, Yanu Kujava, uh, Twisted Labyrinth, and Immortal Heart. So those are the names of the individual tracks. Um, they almost sound a little bit spoilerish. Um, right, let's get the artwork open, and then I'll give this a wrap. Um, it's currently 10 a.m. Uh, GMT. Uh, well, no, it's not. It's actually probably about 11 o'clock now. But I had a phone call uh, this morning. <coughs> uh, bang on 10 o'clock. I was fast as Kip. Um, yeah. Um, because I live on site where I work. Um, I work for a big hospital. And, uh, yeah. All right, let's see if I can fit through this. Um, yeah, anyway, I got them to deliver it to my department. And... Uh, I had a missed call from them. my one of them I didn't recognise. Um, I don't know who that's been to, that's probably the Barbarian. The battery on this is running low, I hope it doesn't run out, that's a Crusader. This is all very nice. Through there, that looks quite cool. This is probably a little bit spoilerific, so I don't want to go too mad. Whoops, oh, that is very spoilerific, whatever I saw there. And, yep, so that's that. Right, guys. I, did I do that backwards? I may have just done that backwards, Fallen Star. Right, anyway, um, right. I will hopefully see you all in game. Um, I'm currently joined up with the Rock Paper Shotgun Guild. Um, they haven't got very many members, but if you do watch, uh, do watch, uh, if you do read uh, RPS, then uh, I highly recommend you check them out, rockpapershotgun.com. Uh, they're a brilliant uh, news gaming blog site. Um, I'm also, I also go on the uh, uh, Reddit community, which was added, uh, communities and clans were added in um, uh, patch 2.0 um, for Diablo. So yeah, I'm in the Rock Paper Shotgun Diablo 3 clan, and also frequent the uh, Reddit uh, community chat. But anyway guys, um, I'm going to wish you all the best because my battery is about to die, and hopefully see you all in game. Bye bye! How do I bloody stop this? <sighs> Me again. 
me again. Um, just before we go, I wanted to just quickly show you some of my other competition. This is just a very small amount because where I am living, the room is tiny. Uh, but you've got uh, right up brimstone from the um, Good Ones Two Collectors Edition. Well, that is something that my dad got me from Cornwall, the uh, biker who uh, leg actually broke off, as you can see. Um, I need to glue that back on, and that is Darth Malgus from the Star Wars uh, Collector's Edition. And behind there is, which you can just about see, is the uh, Heart of the Swarm Collector's Edition. And along here is a very, very, very small uh, fraction of my graphic novels. Um, I have hun hundreds of graphic novels, not comics, but graphic novels. I used to collect comics when I was a kid. But nowadays I prefer graphic novel format because it's easier for me to maintain. Um, they probably aren't going to be worth as much money, but that's why I try and get the hardback if possible. And some, not all, of my music collection. I um, hope there's nothing too uh, bad on it. Part of the sound, uh, part of uh, Exile soundtrack, which was um, uh, I. Path of Exile, if you don't know, is another uh, action RPG. Um, it was basically a lot of people saying it's what Diablo two, uh, Diablo three should have been, and I do kind of agree. And look, that's how big my room is. It's tiny. That's my Path of Exile map poster. Uh, I do have some more posters coming. I've got some artwork coming from uh, Japan, which I'm really looking forward to getting. Um, but yeah, um, Diab uh, Path of Exile. I've been playing that for about nearly three years now since. Uh, since closed alpha and uh, I put like 250 pounds or dollars whatever it was towards helping them fund the game um, and I got a little golden kiwi uh, exclusive pet and a few other things and a t-shirt and whatever else but yeah that is my Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls Collector's Edition um, yeah thanks for watching guys and uh, hopefully see you all in the game um, I will put a annotation up on my uh, on on the video somewhere for uh, my username. Or I'll put it in the description down below because the battery is about to run out in nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bye bye.